Good morning everyone, we are in Berlin and this is day one and we're gonna start with the famous Berlin Wall and which is also known as the East Wall Gallery because there is a lot of graffiti and artwork on the wall which you're gonna see now and then we're gonna walk around and see more stuff which is around like for example artworks and stuff like this which you see here and stuff like that so stay tuned new friends which we made today Yanni here say hi hi <laughs> he's from Germany hey. and Lucy here whoa very cool <laughs> she's from France I met them through couch surfing hangouts but also whatsapp and just like every vlogs we're gonna go around and have fun and maybe some more people will join us so see you around bye bye I did not I did not think it's it's really possible to open it. <laughs> I was struggling hard to get the inside shot and he just opened the door like it was simple. <laughs> so we're gonna have a really good, amazing, delicious footage. As if these people are really driving this car. In three, <laughs> two, one, go. So after walking around, we finally decided to be here because of Lucy. <laughs> we are at the place called Tempelhof, Tempelhof, and it's basically an airport. It used to be an airport back in the day, which is near the city, and they turned it into a park, like a giant park you see here. Hi everyone, day 4 in Berlin. On day 2 and day 3 I did not shoot anything because on day 2 it was raining and on day 3, on day 3 it was snowing. But we are starting today in this amazing place. So I was here last year in February. I'm visiting again with a couple of car surfers and it's fun. We will see more about this amazing property in a bit. So we are at the space. I was here last February as I said before. So this place used to be like a spy station of uh, America when there was a war going on and there was a wall in Berlin to spy on Russia. But then the, after the wall, after the war, this property was not being used. Then a couple of businessmen tried to make hotels and uh, luxury apartments but didn't work out. So then these people took it and there is like a art gallery of street arts and artists from all around the world which you saw in the footage. And today, as usual, we are traveling with more friends. So we have Simon yes. from Oops. Malaysia to Liesia. <laughs> and we have R Rosa, Rosalinda, right? Yes, Rosalinda. From Mexico, Rosalinda. she stays in Spain. <laughs> and our all-time favorite, yeah. <laughs> Yannick. I'm, I'm, I'm traveling around in Berlin with him almost for four days. And we met on the first day. Oh, the sun is there. We met on the first day just through couch surfing. And from then, we are just traveling. So that's that's all for today and we're going to close it close the vlog soon in um, one second. So four days I was in Berlin going through a lot of street arts and also visited a couple of really cool art galleries and one thing I realized is we usually don't do enough justice to these art pieces. For example, when we are in a gallery or in a museum, we pass by art pieces and artifacts and don't really pay enough attention. So this time when I was in this amazing art gallery called Urban Nation, you should visit it. It's in Berlin and it's free and it's really awesome. I did one experiment there. I tried to stand in front of every art piece and try to connect to it, try to interpret what the artist must be saying and try to get a perspective on it as much as I could. And to make this experience even better, I put my earphones on and I played meditational or ambient music. 
so the other things which were going around me were cut off i didn't have much distraction it was just me my thinking music and the art piece and the artist behind it and why we should do this exercise because all these artists when they create such art they want to say something they want to send some message across and they put they put lot of efforts into this art and it will be really respectful if we can spend some quality moment in front of the art piece but it will also add value to our life and it was really a good experience for me when i tried to do this so if next time you go to gallery or you see some art piece or in your uh, you are in museum try to do this experiment and it will for sure make your experience pretty good i'm pretty pumped on this also thank you so much for all the amazing comments and messages you have you sent me this week uh since my last video and it really means a lot as these messages and comments are the fuel to make this vlog bigger and to make me push harder also hi 10 because we have now 5000 likes on our facebook page of the fun indian guy and on youtube we have around 280 subscribers and i'm pretty sure we can do much better than 280 so if you like my videos and if you're watching it now do please go to youtube and try to hit the subscribe button because it will mean a lot to me that's all for this week uh, see you soon ciao ciao namaste bye bye